Well, it's the morning of day 17. A couple things happened last night, or we're working on last night. We got some gunpowder moving here and some oil. Uh, we've also got some concrete moving here, which is great. And over here in this forge, we're getting some cement made. And in here, we finished crafting a gyrocopter, which is awesome. Uh, but currently, we're not going to take this guy out. We're just going to leave it uh, down the runway for now uh, because we want to go over today and we want to finish up the asylum. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to head over to the asylum again, uh, finish off the basement of that place. Then once that's done, we'll probably come back here and start working on this base. We were supposed to do that a little bit yesterday, but it never happened. Um, so we want to make sure this place is ready to go. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So let's get over to the airfield. Okay, so we can drop it here and put all the gas that we have in the bike. Uh, that's the whole reason why we're not taking this out today is we have no real fuel for it. So we're just going to put it down here for now. Uh, I'm hoping this is enough room to take off. I've never actually piloted one of these things before. So we're just going to leave it right here for now. Uh, we're going to go try and get some gas today, or at least get the stuff to make gas. Um, and we'll see where we go from there. But first of all, let's go over to the asylum. Here we go. And there's Mo. What's up, buddy? And it's into him. All right, let's get back in the front door here. Get the hand cannon back out. Now, we didn't loot most of this place yesterday. I think I'll hold off. Uh, you know, I, let's just leave this here for now. Let's go finish this place up. We need to work our way around. I want to try and hit up all these radiators in here, too. Like we've got tons of... Well, you know what? Let's just see if there's anything we can read in here. All right, what do we got here? 20% more range when using scope or iron sights. Yeah, baby. Steel spear recipe. Yeah, we got that already. What else do we have here? We got that already. I should probably go put all these in the bike. Oh, what's this one? Find more dukes and loot. I'll take that. Don't know how many more, but we'll take that. Ooh, machete schematic. Let's use that. And shotgun choke mod. I think we'll hang on to that. What's this guy? Times four. I don't really like anything that's really too zoomy like that. And this is 10% more ores and buzz from coffee. That's nice. And nothing. Alright, I'm going to put these in the bike and then we'll be back. Okay, here we go. Now we were... I believe we cleared this entire upper floor out. Right? Went through here. Down the hall. And I think at the end here is where the stairs down were, weren't they? Where were the stairs down? Right, through here. Here we go. Because this doesn't uh, look dangerous at all. Fingers crossed. Still quiet. These guys are good sleepers. Got somebody else through here. I'm going to take a guess and say right about there. Oh, you're like lying straight down. Let's leave this light on. Got to keep quiet. Hopefully we can find some more ammo down here. Hand cannon for those narrow spaces. That's some nice resources though. Just those are lab equipment. Leave it for now. 
Okay, moving on. Okay, we got somebody around the corner here. Sucks to be you. Another doctor. Kind of glad they're all not waking up. Last thing I want is to have a whole building full of zombies coming after me. And the hand cannon back up for going through these doors. Love the fact that we can sneak over trash. Well, woke him up now. Cut you off. Well, you're still alive, eh? Keep hitting the wrong button. Who po Did someone poop out a bag? I thought somebody pooped out a bag. Well, that was terrible. Not wasting any more rounds on you. You're in a bird. Oh. What are you doing up there? Stop moving. Okay, make sure we're reloaded here. I should really ter move my uh, my light button and my reload button away from each other. I better make sure that this is uh, clear down here. I'm pretty sure it is, but last thing I want to do is ret retreat into more zombies. Okay, you got mixers down here, eh? Coffins, really? How many patients are they killing? Functioning workbench, that works. Geez, this would be a uh, a nice starter base. And why am I searching this? Do it afterwards. Crematorium. That's a fire zombie right there and right there. Just to make sure there's no one back here. Okay. That's all coal. That's kind of cool. Wow. Like, what were they doing in here? I guess they were using this as a uh, place to burn up the uh, dead bodies from the uh, outbreak. Lots of stuff to search here though. Well, hopefully we'll get lots of good stuff out of this place. I'll search all the main loot first on the way out of here. Where did you come from? I didn't check the whole room, that's why. Alright, we need to close this door. Oh, that's not good either. Can we handle this guy fast? He's getting back up. We haven't got much time. Alright, let's put this down. They're going to break through that real fast.
Okay, I was not expecting to use this much ammo. Or this much healing. I didn't bring any uh, pills, man. Should have brought some pills. Having a hard time getting in, apparently. Any pills in here? No pills in here. Alright, well, we're moving on. I don't even think we're anywhere near the uh, tough part. But we'll take those. Okay. Oh, well, that's really nice. Let's use that right now. Steel tools, man. Well, the good thing about that is it cleared these rooms out quick. Now we got our bandage back. Hoping to find some pills, man. All right, well, let's move on. Let's say uh, medical box. Yep. Oh, come on. There we go. Die, you bastard. Why is there a snick down here, though? That's what I want to know. Wow, that doesn't look very, uh... Steel bars around beds? Like... Is it really that necessary? Okay, it's all quiet so far. Water leaking in here. That don't look good. Well, that don't sound good either. Is it just one? I saw somebody moving down there. I thought he was a lot farther away. Come on, give me some pills here. Pills. Pills. No pills. Can't see how passing out pills is very hard work. Passing out pills. Passing out pills. 90% of my work is surgery and delivering babies in the middle of the night. I think I mentioned that this before is that's from a uh, when I was going to when I was in college that was the uh, one of the editing assignments we had to do they gave us uh, an episode of Gunsmoke. This looks like it could be it. Oh! What's up? probably a good thing. We should have brought some Molotovs. I was like thinking, what, is there nobody in there? Are they going to come down from the roof or what? Get him in the choke point. Choke point. Reloading. Well, that could have been really bad. We got 26 rounds left. Let's make sure this thing's reloaded. That could have been really bad. Well, is there anything up here? Doesn't look like it. Well, and that goes out to the, uh, yeah, nice. Okay, cool. So we're done here. Let's just quickly grab this loot, find out what we've got, and then we'll go ahead and go back through this place and pull out whatever we can get out of here. Okay, we got some more 762. 
We started with a full clip and 150 extra rounds. So maybe, hopefully, there's the pills I was looking for. Now that I don't really need them. Take that. Take those. Take those. Oil is always a win. It's better what we have on. It is. Sure is. Let's modify this guy. Oh yeah. Why show it twice? I know I could just do it the other way, but uh That's worth 10. Let's just go ahead and scrap it. And we can scrap this too. Alright, so we got this safe and this, which is open. Could you imagine if we just walked in here and opened this? Take those. And you know what? We're going to break into this one like this. We want to save our lock picks, like I said, for a night raid on that uh, military base. So let's go ahead and do this. Alright, see what we got. Yeah. Sure. All right, you know what? We're going to go up. Actually, let's just loot this part here. Then we'll go up, empty the stuff into the bike, come back in, do one more cursory walkthrough, grab what other loot we can get out of here. Nothing. And then we'll... Uh, iron? Yeah. Let's just go ahead and put uh, that back for now. Grab these. So I don't want to leave anything behind here. Brass? How did I get... Oh, the brass off the door. Really? Really? Okay. You know what? We'll check these when we come back down. Lots of stuff up there, too. Okay. Let's go drop this stuff in the bike. Well, we found a crucible in, one, in a working stiff box here. That figures. That's where the uh, radiated zombie was. Keep going. Alright, so in this common room we found a few things. Uh, figure a way to hack, get purified water. That's nice. And weave plant fibers into cloth. Bows do 10 for some more damage at night. We found the crucible recipe. And a couple of these other ones. I'm still working my way through this building. There's so much stuff here. It's like it's really ridiculous how much stuff's in this building. Let's repair this. All right, we'll see you in a minute. All right, well, I finished looting this place. Well, not finished, but finished for today because there's so much stuff still in there. Like, we've got two stacks of radiators. That's 5,000 brass right there. You know, a ton of other stuff. I mean, nothing major, nothing game-changing, but we did find the crucible recipe. We did find the steel tools recipe. Uh, I found the truck chassis recipe. Um, some good stuff, anyway. So, actually, you know what? Let's just get... Let's get on the bike. Let's drive home. Drop the stuff off we want to keep. And then we're going to head out again. Alright, we got a guy right by our house here. Whoops. Come on, buddy. Now, I didn't pick up any extra ammo, so we'll have to go with what we have. Made a bunch more junk turret ammo with the with the iron that we had, and I'm going to take this stuff over to the traders. Alright, here we go. So I decided not to go to either of the trader bobs, since we've been there already. Uh, we pretty much know what they have. I'm here now at this the second kind of trader gen that we found earlier. So we're going to go in here, and let's see if she's got anything. We haven't been here in a while, so... Feeling under the weather. I've got just what the doctor ordered. I hope so. All right. Uh, you... We want to keep those. That can go. You can go. We're not going to be making any steel spears. You can go. You can go. Shotgun choke. Yeah. Don't need the beakers. Don't need those. Don't need that. I want to keep this. Now, I want to fix I this. Uh, let's repair this real quick, and then we'll sell it. It's obviously worth doing that. Just go ahead and sell that. All right, now, what do you got, Jen? 
Hunting rifle schematic. What do we got here? Hunter's journal. 10% more damage to vultures. Blah. Shotgun turrets. I think we got our turrets set for now. Don't have to worry about that. Steel pickaxe. I'm going to go ahead and buy this for the steel tool parts. That zombie sounds real close. Silencer mod. Maybe we could start going around with a pistol. Might be worth it. I'm going to take that for now. Find all the gunpowder. Uh, what else do you got here, Jen? Oil shell. We're going to dig up some of that on the way back. I'm going to have a look around here, though, first, before we go back. Uh, what else do we have here? Switches. Can't remember if I bought any switches. I'm just going to buy two for now. Just to make sure we have them. Uh... Any military stuff we can break down, or is that better than what we have? Nothing? And no tips or casings? Nope. Anything that's really good, though? Sledgehammer. Junk turret, four. Ours is five. I don't think there's anything here we need. All right. Remember me if you need medical supplies. I will. All right, let's go ahead and break this down. Go put this stuff in the bike. I hear you out here. Hey, Ma, what's up? Enjoy that bleeding wound. Go down, go down. Jab, 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 jab. Stick him. Move away. There you go. That's how it's done, Mo. All right. Now, let's have a look. All right, guys, we're on our way back here. Now, I picked up a few things from after we went to the traders. I had to wrench a couple of cars apart. I grabbed a bit of oil shale and some iron on the way back. Uh, but we pass in the Soa Tools here, or sorry, Working Stiff Tools. We're going to go ahead and smash our way in here. Sorry, Soa Tools is a company I did some work for a while back. Uh, let's go smash our way in here. Check out this place. Uh, you know what happens when you sleep on the job? You know what happens when you sleep on the job? Oop, apparently you don't die. Hey, buddy. All right, let's not use that gun. We're wasting all our ammo. All right, let's check out what else is in here. Some paper. Meh. Vending machine's functional. We got a level, too. That's nice. All right. Gonna quickly search this front part. Then we're gonna smash in back in this corner. Yeah, some frames. We can probably just scrap those. Actually, I'll hang on to them for now because I think uh, we're gonna need them to lay out the base. Now, we're not gonna get a lot of base work done today. I was hoping to get back in time, but I wanted to hit up that, ex that trader that we hadn't been to in a while just in case they had something good. Yeah. Sure, now let's see what we got in here. Oop. Who are you? Big Mama? Nope. That is a cop. Shh. Wake up! That's what happens when you sleep on the job, buddy. That was not in your job description. Ooh, level 5 wrench. It's not in his job description. What happens? All right, let's get over this last room here. Clear this place out. Motherfuckers, wake up. Oh, that guy's a runner. Oh, back up. Two for. Oh, you're still going. Not anymore, you're not. 
And that's it. Alright, let's loot these crates. I don't know what... I'm, I'm not expecting much. Like, if we can get some steel tool parts, that's what I'm happy about. I really want to replace this, this axe and the shovel with better steel tools. And there's a level 6 steel shovel. I am so glad we went and you... Excuse me, use that recipe. I'll just scrap this guy. Like, eh, whatever. Why is it whenever I find, like, the recipes to stuff, then I go ahead and find, like, really high level, like, higher level tools than what I can make? It's almost, like, not even worth taking stuff that you can... I don't know. Whatever. Alright, let's get going back home. Then we can maybe lay the base out. Okay, that stuff's put away in there for now. We'll take it upstairs later. So we got to figure out what I want to do here. And I, I was thinking about bringing some stairs down from up there and into a base that's going to be located right here. Now, my initial thought was, I mean, it's got to be far enough out to cover the airfield and also cover all this open area. So I'm thinking like, like right... So let's do this first. Now that goes right up to where? One, two. So we're over by one too far. So that way. So that is equal with the spire right there. So what I want to do is I want to bring stairs down. Now we can spiral them down a little bit from up there along the side of the building with support and then have them come down. So we have access to here from up there and also we're going to have access underneath because we've got a tunnel started under here anyway so we'll have access from underneath now this will be the main part of the base now if we're going to do it how wide is the tower There's another four that way so one two three four and that's the edge of the tower there right and then we go one two three four right one two three Four. That's the edge of the tower there. So that's going to be equal with the tower. It's awfully wide, but I think that's probably better because I want to make this. So I want to make it at the bottom of the base, nice and solid. Um, let's move these up a bit. I got to lay this out in my head here first before I go ahead and start putting blocks down. But if we make it like this. That's far enough away. Take some of this trash out of here. Far enough away that we don't have to worry about it. The zombies attacking the base. They'll be attacking this structure. Which is what I want. Uh, now if we have it come out this way. Here was my, th my thought was. That we have it set up kind of like. far. It's got to be farther though. My thought was to be in here making this all solid and have them come at me from this direction. Now in order to do that they need to have some way to get to me and my thought was to have this raised up a couple blocks so we would be up here. Let's make another uh, how much wood do we have? Not a lot on us right now. Let's just make 30. Um, we would be up here a couple of blocks up and then there would be a ramp to a door here and we would be on this side firing into where the zombies are trying to get in the door. This would all be solid. This could be barbed wire down here. So if they do decide to come at me they'll be stuck and I can just snipe them from above. Now on the sides we should have the ability to be able to see out and shoot into them. So angle blocks looking down with barbed wire, but giving them a single route to come from. And then back here, facing inward, like maybe like right here facing this way, and right here facing this way would be the machine gun turrets. And then the shotgun turrets could be on this side shooting at them this way.
If we use dart traps, we could throw them on the other side here, shooting across this way. I don't want to be shooting them straight on because once demolishers start coming, they're going to start, the weapons will start hitting the uh, the buttons. We don't, if, they bl if they blow up out here, we're in trouble. Yeah, let me think about this. So if we do it like this, it's going to be have to be a lot bigger than what I'm expecting. We could do it as towers though. So rather than having, uh, yeah, rather than having, um, like we'll have an individual block house, a tower for the shotguns, single towers for the submachine guns, and a small tower for the dart guns. That might work. Okay, so... Or... Okay, let's take these out. So that is the width of that tower. And if we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, four. So we could, well, here's the problem is I don't want to stand on this side. Well, no, because if they get in, we can go up and out. We'll have a room over here. Then if they decide that they, the easiest way to get to me is not the door, but to break this down, then the whole plan falls apart. Okay. Now I could, I mean, I could build bases like I built them before, but I think I want to do it a little differently this time. I like the idea of them coming to a door and having to beat through it. So if we're here and the ramp is up this way, so that's the ramp, let's say, they come up here, the door is like right here, or one more, right there. They're trying to break in the door here, and I'm right there. Then we could set up shotgun turrets here to shoot them while they're coming across here and shoot them when they're at the door from behind. And then the SMG turrets, we could set up in position so if they fall, or we could set them up in position so if they decide to start banging on our base, they can get shot. So we could set up a, mach a double machine gun nest here that's going to fire this way and this way, right? So it'll shoot at the back of the base, it'll shoot up the side of the base, like this side of the base. So if they decide to come and bang here where I'm standing, at least we can shoot them from two angles. And the last place is this side here, which I don't think they're going to bother with because if they're over here, they're going to see that ramp as the option and go up the ramp. I think we do it that way. And then there'll be a corridor here that comes into the main base. So the corridor, so this will be all one big piece. Now I like making my bases nice and thick and chunky like this. And the best way to do it, I believe, one, two, three, four, five, six, is a seven by seven. Because from what I remember, if I'm correct about this, concrete blocks have a seven strength. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So here plus six. So if I if this is solid and the zombies knock out every single block but this one on the corner, this should still remain standing. Like if they knock out everything underneath here two blocks high, as long as one of these posts is in, this building will stand. So they have to knock out every single block under me to collapse it, which is going to take way too long, especially if they're being shot at by submachine guns on two sides. And if we can get a third one in over here, that'll be perfect. 
But that's why I like making this big square platform and have it completely solid reinforced concrete. Um, because if it's that way, then the zombies just don't really have a chance. And then eventually we're, we can make the outside all steel. And if you build this right, like as you're doing it, like you don't have to make all of the inside reinforced concrete to start. You can just make the bottom part reinforced and the walls reinforced. And then when you get steel, you make all these steel, then you fill it in, make another row steel, fill it in, make another row steel. So eventually all this could be steel as well. But I don't think we'll ever, I, like I, even with this design, I don't think you'll ever have to go that way. The only thing you have to worry about is the zombies breaking the ramp. And then at that point, it's an issue. But it, as long as we make it so that we can toss shit down on them, fill this in with wire on both sides, make it so that we can drop shit on them, right? Then we should be okay. But I think this should be out one more. Four. So I'm going to have to make a bunch of rebar and a ton of concrete. Because we before we have this going, actually, you know what we'll do? Is we'll make the ramp too wide until it gets to the door will narrow to one. And then there's only one space, like one spot where the door is. Right? And then the base will connect up over here but it'll be above ground connection. So it won't be connecting like this. It'll be like one block up and probably over here, like above. Right? So it's three blocks. So they can only stack up here. Otherwise they fall off and have to go around again. But maybe we do it like this instead. That'll be an angle block right here. So if we change this, to this and then we can do come on it's always the last one there you go something like that right so they come up the ramp they run along they're forced into this one narrow corridor they're only one wide when they get shot they stumble they fall off they're like oh crap let's go back around right we set up the machine gun nest down there, so if they do fall off this way and decide they want to beat on this, they can get shot here. We could set up another machine gun nest facing down this way too to stop them or to shoot them in the back as they're running around. But like I said, if it sets off a demolisher, we're screwed. So it's really got to be set up. We need two nests, one like here, shooting at the wall, shooting them in the back, and then another one over here, shooting them in the back, if we're going to do it. I think that'll work. This is a 7x7. Seven seven. It should be strong enough. Um, so yeah, now it's just a matter of getting rebar and flushing this out. We have up to five days, or three days. Three days? Yeah, three days after today. Well, the way I've got the horde set up too, the horde is set up so that it's um, it's random from uh, six to eight days. So it might show up early. It might just show up early. So take a lot of this stuff out. None of this will respawn anyway. Okay, so yeah. And then I think what we do is maybe we add some plates along here as well so that it doesn't make it so it's not easy for them to dig down because we want to have it like if we've got an underground tunnel that comes up here it would have to come up in the center so it's really three blocks wide with ladders if they dig if they somehow dig it you know we, we should dig down one here probably dig down one then add plates around the outside on the ground so this is a lot of work but it's definitely going to be worth it. I think once it's done, we'll have a really solid base that we don't have to worry about. And I think the same thing here. We dig down one and add plates on the outside.
right? Because we don't want, yeah, we could, we, I mean, we could add plates to this whole thing. Or we could just dig all this up and just re replace it with reinforced concrete. Same around here. Because we have blade traps and stuff too. I mean, we could drop blade traps in here. Or we could drop them along the walls here as backups. Yeah, we've got an auger now. Got a level 4 auger that I put together. So we can just dig all this up. We need fuel, which is why I picked up the uh, uh, which is why I picked up the uh, oil shale today. Hopefully we have enough to make a thing of 10,000 fuel so we can just make this quick. Alright, that's how we're going to do it, I think. Got a lot of work ahead of us. And tomorrow we're going to test drive that copter. I've never been on a... Uh, I've never been on one of those um, gyrocopters, so I'm going to have to test out how to fly it. So we'll do that tomorrow. Actually, let's break up some more of this trash down here. So tonight, uh, hopefully a lot of that gunpowder is done. I want to start making ammo. We're going to need a variety of ammo. We'll need shotgun ammo. We'll need SMG ammo. So let's start bringing this stuff upstairs. Alright guys, that's going to do it for today. I am going to uh, clean up up here, bring the rest of the stuff up and get it all sorted. Then tomorrow we can start working on the base straight up. We're going to have to start doing that really, really fast to get that done. At least the base structure done. At least the first three, like three or four blocks done on both of these. I don't know if we have got enough concrete for that, but that's what we got to do tomorrow. All right, so until next time, we'll see you.